I love backpacks, but for a typical workday, I prefer to go with a more professional looking messenger bag. Using a slimmer bag like this means that the tech I carry also needs to be thinner and lighter to keep it from being too bulky or heavy. Finding the perfect tech that fits inside this limited space, but doesn't compromise in performance was essential to me for this setup. Hi, I'm David, and this is what's inside my slim and minimal tech bag. The bag I'm using is from Jack Spade, and I'll be honest, the main reason I use it is because I just think it looks nice. Messenger bags aren't the most ergonomic since you're carrying all the weight on one shoulder, there isn't a lot of space inside to carry anything beyond the essentials, and the pockets are just okay for keeping everything organized. The bag is also pretty expensive, and I only bought one since I found it on sale for less than $100. Despite all that, I still really like using this bag since it looks a lot more professional than a backpack for a young professional. The laptop I carry inside the bag is still the Dell XPS 15, which I still think is a great balance of portability and power for video editing on the go. But when I'm at home, I prefer working directly on my desktop system, and moving files back and forth between my laptop and desktop can be a hassle. So I picked up a Samsung T5 1TB portable hard drive to store all my files. It's nice and small so it stores easily inside my bag, it comes with the cables to connect over USB-C or over Type-A connectors, file read and write speeds is extremely fast so I can edit my video files directly on the drive, the only con is the price. The Samsung T5 is a premium product, so the price tag clearly reflects that. If you don't need that kind of capacity or just want to quickly transfer some files between a couple computers, I still just use a simple USB thumb drive. For that reason, I also carry my SanDisk Extreme 64GB drive, which is plenty fast and large enough when I just need to quickly pass some files computer to computer. A power bank is something new I started to carry with me lately. While I rarely run out of power during the day with my cell phone, having a power bank just in case is nice for peace of mind. I'm using the Aki 10,000mAh power bank. These smaller slimmer power banks are the perfect form factor for me. They feel like you're carrying a slightly thicker phone and because of that they hold together really well in my hands while it's being charged without too much additional weight or bulk. The specific model doesn't support any special quick charging modes if you need that, but I really like that this charger has a bi-directional USB-C port that can be used to charge or be charged, so I don't need to have older micro USB cables around. Commuting to work, I like listening to podcasts or music on the phone with some cheap Panasonic earbuds. I find them really comfortable in my small ear canals, and they sound decent enough for my needs. While the cable is really thin, so it does get tangled quite easily, and there's no inline controller or microphone for phone calls, on the plus side, they are super cheap, so I don't really worry about losing or breaking them. And finally, while I enjoy my technology, sometimes I just find it therapeutic to write my notes out with pen and paper. For this, I just carry a basic notepad, and for my pen, I like using the Signo 207 with its nice dark ink. So that's a quick look at what's inside my slim tech work bag. The tech and gear I carry inside this bag is small and portable, but doesn't compromise in performance. While you do pay a bit of a premium for the stuff inside this setup, in the end it's been worth it to me to keep everything clean and professional. But hope you guys enjoyed this one, you know what to do, and I'll see you in the next video.